Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another day, another video. For those of you who are new here, my name is Mo Chen and I work as a data and analytics manager and I've been working with complex big data ever since I finished my master's degree, which was over six years ago now. In today's video, I'll show you the most useful shortcuts that I genuinely use on an everyday basis at work. Shortcuts that save me a ton of time, shortcuts I'm sure will also save you an enormous amount of time. I'm a big believer in learning by doing, so I will show you how these shortcuts work on an actual data set. So without further ado, let me jump into Microsoft Excel and get started with a quick summary of the data set that I'll use. So. This is Microsoft Excel. Obviously, everybody knows about this. I'm sure you guys know it very well. And the data set I'll be using actually is going to be from Kaggle. So let me just go to the data set right here. And it's a Formula One racing data set. So the data goes from 1950 to 2024. And you can see in here that there are so many tables, 14 tables to be exact. And really, the only thing I did here was I merged all of these data sets into one file only. So if you look at this code right here, all this does is that it goes through all of the files and then it takes all of the data sets, which are just tables really, in an Excel file or in a CSV file rather. And then I write them into one single spreadsheet which is this all F1 data spreadsheet that I created here. So without further ado, let me move on to shortcut number one. And shortcut number one is super simple. Actually, all you have to do is click. So what you can do is if you go to the top left of any spreadsheet and you click right here, then you double click on auto adjusting the column width then you can see that all of the column widths automatically adjust. And then say, for example, you could also do the same with the row um, heights as well. But currently you can see here that all of my row heights are actually quite good. So even if I double click here, nothing really changes. But I could, for example, really mess this up just a little bit. And then maybe I can go to the bottom as well, row 35, row 34 and then I can mess these up a little bit. So now if I click back onto the top left and I select all and I double click here on the rows, then you can see that all of my row heights have been automatically adjusted. I think this is just a super neat and simple way to automatically adjust both the row heights and auto adjust all of the column widths. Now, Excel, in my opinion, is the best first data analysis tool to learn. And if you're looking for a place to master Microsoft Excel, then look no further than DataCamp's Excel Fundamentals learning track. I've been a DataCamp user for years now. And believe me when I say I've learned all sorts of technical skills using DataCamp that I genuinely apply at work on a day-to-day -day basis. The Excel Fundamentals Learning Track has five courses that'll take you from a complete beginner to someone who feels confident with preparing, visualizing, and analyzing data. Just like any other data camp learning track, you'll of course learn through interactive, hands-on exercises so that you can actually apply the skills and knowledge you will have gained. One of the things I like most about data camp is the bite-sized learnings. You watch a video and then complete some exercises to put into practice what you've learned. Learning by doing is something I always talk about on my channel. And if you learn with DataCamp, you'll certainly learn by doing, not just by watching. So if you're looking to take your Excel skills to the next level, then get started with DataCamp's Excel Fundamentals learning track using the link in the description below. And a huge shout out to DataCamp for sponsoring this video. Now, the second thing I wanna show you, you'll use your keyboard for this shortcut. So all I'm gonna do here is hold down Control and then page down or up, and I'm gonna be navigating the worksheets in my spreadsheet. So Control, and whilst holding Control, you press page down, and then you can see right here on the bottom that I'm moving in between my worksheets. So currently I'm on my constructor results worksheet, but if I press control down, I will move on to the constructor standings worksheet. And if I press control up, I will move to the previous worksheet. So constructors, so control page down 
and then I can press page up and I'm just moving in between the worksheets. You can see that it's super quick and I'm toggling through all of the worksheets super easily with the simple shortcut control page down for the next worksheet and control page up for the previous worksheet. Okay, so the next thing is also going to be useful for navigating your worksheet. And it is again, a very, very simple shortcut. And you hold down control. So currently, you can see that I'm in cell C23 on the circuits uh, worksheet right here. And if you hold down control and you press the arrows, then you basically just move to the end of whatever direction you're moving to. So say, for example, here, if I press control left, you can see that now I moved into cell A23. Now, if I press control and then up, I'm moving to cell A1. If I press control right, you'll see that I'm moving to cell I1. And now if I press control down, I will move all the way down to cell I78. You can see right here. So again, if I press control up, I'm moving back up to cell I1. If I press control left now, I will move to cell A1. And now if I press, for example, control down again, I'm moving to cell A78. Now a slight variation to this is if you hold down control and uh, shift, then what happens is that you're actually selecting the cells. So control shift, and then to the right, I'm selecting everything to the right. Now, if I press control shift up, for example, I will select everything up. So technically I just selected everything. So let me show you this again. I can use control up to go to cell A1. And then let's say I go to the fifth row. I, I press down control and shift. And then to the right, I selected everything. Now, if I again, I'm still holding control and shift. And if I just press down, then there you go. I selected all of the rows from uh, the fifth row onward. So this is something I also wanted to show you. Now, the fourth thing, the fourth shortcut I want to show you is again for navigating worksheets. And let's just switch a worksheet. For example, I'll press control page down to move on to the constructors worksheet. And just to practice what we learned, I'm again going to click here in the top left, selecting everything in my spreadsheet, double click to auto adjust my column widths. And I'll double click on the rows as well, but you can see nothing changed because the rows have been already automatically adjusted for the height. So now what I'm gonna do is say I click into cell E27. So you see I'm right here. Now if I press control and home, I go to the first cell in the worksheet. Again, let me just press somewhere else. Um, in I'm in cell K32 now, I press control home. Again, I end up in cell A1 right here. Now, the opposite of this is pressing Control and end. So let me just do that. And you can see that I end up in cell E213. So no matter where I am, that's the cell I'm going to be ending up on. Like you can see that I was in cell H217 here. If I press Control end, I end up in the last cell that has some value. So say, for example, if I type in ABC in cell I219 right here, then, for example, I could click here, for example, press Control end and I end up on ABC. Oh, by the way, if you're enjoying this video and if you're gaining any value out of this video, then you should definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And you should also probably check out my free newsletter and all of the other data analysis resources on my website. So these resources include the Ultimate Excel projects, the Ultimate Data Portfolio, the Ultimate Data Roadmap, and then of course the Data Analysis Bundle that has everything in one place. Make sure you check them out at mochen.info. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you is gonna be like black magic, hopefully. Um, no, it isn't actually, it's not that difficult, but it's a really handy shortcut to use when I wanna duplicate my sheets. So what you could do is you could go onto circuits, right click, and you could go move or copy, create copy and say, for example, move to end. And then now you can see that I have this circuits to right here. Now, an easier way to do this, let me just delete the sheet right here. And let me just use control page up to go to the first sheet, what you can do is hold down control and then just left click and drag. And then if I drag it next to it, you can see that I duplicated it and I duplicated it again and I copied the sheet again. So this is a really neat way to copy your worksheet really quickly. 
The sixth shortcut is gonna be all about borders. So say for example, if I wanna put borders on everything here, I can use my shortcuts again. So control shift to the right and then down to select all of the data. And then the shortcut is gonna be alt H B A. So all borders, alt H B A. And let me just undo this. And as I'm going through this, you can see that with alt, you see, I'm selecting the tabs up here. With H, I'm selecting home. And then with B, I'm selecting borders. And then with A, I'm selecting all borders. So this is something I use quite often. And another thing I use quite often as well to get rid of the borders, it's gonna be Alt H B N. And you can see that I have no borders right now. So again, let me just go back here, Alt H B A, put all borders on. And then when you press Alt, Again, you're selecting the tab, so you, you press H for home, and then you press B for the borders, and then if you press N, it's the no border option, and then you end up with no borders. So this was shortcut number six. Now, shortcut number seven, let me just move on to a different tab this time, drivers, for example. Shortcut number seven is gonna be all about formatting, number formatting. So an easy way to go into this, for example, let me go date of birth, and you can press Control N1, and it opens up the cell formatting. So this currently is in general, and is actually, I can see that Excel probably doesn't even recognize this as a date, because when I switch to date, I'm not even too sure it's gonna change. It didn't change, because I can see that Excel didn't recognize this as a date, but if it was a date, which in this case, actually you should probably input it as, for me, it's gonna be 7th of January. Oh, it's just saving all the data, but yeah, for me, it's gonna be, say if I had um, 7th of January, 1985, right here, which now I can see that Excel recognizes this as a date format. So this guy's Lewis Hamilton. He's uh, really, really famous, one of the best drivers probably ever. So what I can do here right now is if you press Control one I can choose all these different types of date formats, for example. So I could pick, um, what could I pick? Pick this one. And then now you can see that it's obviously 7th of January, 1985. You press Control one again, you can go to alignment, font, border. You could put on all sorts of borders. You know, you can give it a fill. You can change the font to bold, whatever you want to basically. So. Control one formatting cells, really, really useful. Let me just delete this. And what you can do here is you can go to clear and you can go to clear all. And then now you have nothing, no formatting, nothing in the cell. Okay, so this was shortcut number seven. And now let's move on to shortcut eight. And shortcut eight is actually so, so simple. So I use this quite often when I wanna just copy and paste data without the formatting. So let me go to where should we go? Let's go to, um, which one? Qualifying maybe, pit stops. I like constructors, standings, results. Let's go to circuits. I think this is a nice one. So I'll go to circuits and what I use very, very often is, let me just select everything, control shift to the right down, press control C. And then what you could do is I press control home and I go to the, let me just press control home go to the top, and then what I do is, you see I'm in cell L1 right now, and I press Alt, and then I press H, V for paste, and then right here, V, I'm gonna press V to only paste the values. So this is good when, say for example, you have a, you have some kind of worksheet that has a lot of formatting in place already, and you don't wanna have all the formatting, you just want the raw values. This is super, super useful. So let me undo this. And what I could do here actually, say for example, I could give these some kind of formatting, like I'll give this accounting for whatever reason. Um, let's say I'll, I'll, I'll give it euros. I mean, it's completely wrong. You can see, it's just, you know, not the formatting you want. And then maybe I'll put some borders on here. And then what else could I do? Maybe let me select uh, all of these and then I'll make this bold and I'll fill it with an ugly yellow. Okay, so now I have all this formatting on. So control shift to the right and then down, control C. 
I'll press Control Home, and then I'll go to cell L1 again, and now I press Alt H V V, and you can see that the data I copied in right here, I copy and paste it in right here, is only the raw values. So that's why I like the shortcut Control C and then Alt H V V to only copy and paste in the raw values and nothing else. Now another thing that I also like using is gonna be F2. So F2 you can use it to jump into the cell. You can see here, I'm in cell B2 right now, and I can make it a bit bigger. So I'm in cell B2 right now. And all that's happening here is that when I press F2, I jump into the cell, then I press escape to jump out of the cell. So when I jump into the cell, I could type whatever I want to, you can see right here, and all of this without actually having to touch my mouse, which is the whole point of the thing, because it's quick. This is super useful when, say for example, you have some formulas. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna join uh, the text, so McLaren, McLaren, and then British. So my text reads McLaren, McLaren, British, but I know I can see it from my formula bar that this is a formula. Another way I can easily jump into my formula bar without having to actually click here and then go into the formula bar is I could literally just go to my cell F2 and then I can adjust this. So say for example, I could go add on the URL as well. And there we go. So F2 is for jumping in and out of cells really useful shortcut. I use it all day long so that I don't have to touch my mouse. And this brings me on to the 10th shortcut, which is going to be about inserting a pivot table. So Alt N V T. This is one that I genuinely, honestly use so, so often. So say for example, I'm in the constructor standings um, tab right now, and I press Alt N V T, and then Excel automatically recognizes that I want to insert the pivot table based on the table that I have here, and I just press enter. That's it. And then I have a pivot table. I could go to drivers, for example, and again, I could do the same. So I could uh, press Alt N V T, and I have another pivot table again. And then, you know, you can do whatever you want with the pivot table, but that's a very, very quick way to insert your pivot table. And I'm afraid this is the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you go to mochen.info to check out various other data analysis resources. And you should also probably check out these videos right here. Thank you so much for taking just a little time out of your day to watch this. And I shall see you in the next one.